Hey guys, what's up? This is DJ Soul Force, and uh, some of my buddies on YouTube just got their uh, 380 this weekend, and uh, I've already read about first flight crashes, and man, that really hurts my heart. Today, I was shooting some video uh, trying to get some gimbal shots because I just added the uh, Wakara G2D gimbal to my quadcopter, but I think this is a lot more important than uh, how to install the gimbal and what the video looks like with the gimbal. I, I'm going to do a short demonstration of how I prepared my X380 for its first flight and uh, some of the steps that you have to take in preparing this quadcopter before your first flight and things you need to do before every flight. The first thing I have here is the owner's manual. One of the most critical pieces of information is on the last page. On the last page, item number 13 is how to bind the transmitter to the quadcopter. Now, the transmitter and the quadcopter was supposed to be binded or bound together at the factory. But it is recommended that you do it. And you only have to do this once when you first get the quadcopter. To bind the transmitter to the quadcopter, first thing we want to do, and you do this before every flight, is turn your transmitter on first. I have a battery in here, but it's not connected. So, second step, and this is also critical, before you connect that battery, make sure your quadcopter is in place it's on a level surface before I plug in my battery. Before you plug in your battery, make sure your quadcopter is on a level surface and you're pretty much almost ready to fly. The very next action that's going to happen is uh, the quadcopter is going to initialize its own internal gyros. Watch this. When that beeping stops, the quadcopter has initialized its gyros, it's on the level surface, and the flight indicator is flashing either uh, one green, one red, or you got two greens. In any case, that's when it's safe to tuck away the, or to move the quadcopter. So I'm going to tuck away the battery cables and close the battery door. I made sure that I did not disturb this quadcopter while the gyros were initializing and that everything was nice and steady before I moved it. As you can see I have two green flashes every two seconds. That means your quadcopter has acquired GPS lock and you should be ready to fly. Let's pretend this is brand new. I just got it out of the box. I want to make sure that this transmitter is bounded to this quadcopter <laughs> because it's 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 possible that your your quadcopter is not reading proper signals from this transmitter in order to do that you pull the right uh, the left stick down which is your throttle pull your throttle down to the bottom the uh, right stick in the center to the right hold that for a second or two let go of the sticks and you flip the go home button it said six times uh, I, f I flipped it until the uh, indicator button turned to green again uh, I, I took both sticks and pulled to the bottom and then I did a complete circle and then I let it go and you can see now the flight indicator went back to its normal flashing green which telling me I'm ready to fly I have more than six GPS satellites acquired and it's ready to fly. That was pretty easy. I'm going to unplug it. We're going to go over that again. Okay, let's go over that again real quick. <laughs> Quadcopter on a level surface. Batteries in place. Plug in the battery. That beep, beep, that was the gyros initializing. 
this flashing green uh, flight indicator shows we have GPS lock. Uh, all the gyros are calibrated. It's done doing its thing. Now I'm safe to do my thing. Tuck away the battery cable. Close the door. To first bind the transmitter, and you, you should only have to do this one time when you first get the quad. Pull the throttle stick down to the bottom, direction stick to the right. Let go of the sticks, flash to go home. I went up, down, up, down on the return to home button until the uh, indicator flashes green again. Now I'm going to do one quick circle, let go of the sticks. We went back to the green flashing lights. I'm ready to fly. Now, here comes the fun part, the calibration dance. To calibrate the magnetic compass on this quadcopter, pull the throttle stick down to the bottom. While holding that down, click the uh, headless mode button. Keeping the quad parallel to the ground, this is the uh, compass dance. You want to circle it around two complete circles and then put it back on level ground. Pull down the uh, throttle, flip the headlock switch again three times, one, two, three, back up to the off position and that light went off. At that time, take your flight indicator, point it up to the air. You see the uh, LED turn red, circle around two times again. Two times back on level ground. The indicator went off. Pull the throttle down one last time. And three times again on the headlock button. The light went solid green for a second or two. And now we're back to two flashes every two seconds. The quadcopter magnetic compass Calibration was successful. Binding to the transmitter was successful. If I pull both sticks down and outside, that will unlock the blades and she's ready to take off and fly. <laughs> but of course, we're inside and I'm not flying this thing around in my house. Down again and to the outside to lock the props and the quadcopter is in a locked position. Uh, also keep in mind when when you want to power down your quadcopter leave your transmitter on while you're unplugging that battery uh, there are some documented cases uh, not with this quadcopter but with the Cheersons guys brought the quadcopter down locked the props turned the transmitter off the quadcopter is going to take that as a, I lost signal <laughs> with the transmitter and it will take back off again and hover 20 feet <laughs> because now it's gone into the uh, return to home mode because it lost contact with the transmitter. Keep your transmitter on, unplug the battery first, then turn your transmitter off. <laughs> uh, if that light changes from two flashing green lights while you're in the middle of your flight, Fly the quadcopter manually. Don't press automatic land. Don't press return to home. Uh, if you're in headless mode, immediately come out of headless mode. And the most critical part of preparing this quadcopter to take off uh, or prepare for flight is transmitter on first. Make sure both of these toggle switches are up in the up position up is off and those are some critical steps that you must follow to have successful flight with the XK X380 when this quadcopter is brand new out of the box it is highly suggested that you bind it to the transmitter and you only need to do that once uh, only one time this quadcopter needs to know that this is my transmitter I'm the only guy that's sending you signals so that uh, <laughs> if someone else is flying the X380 in your area 
they won't be able to take control over your quadcopter. So the transmitter bounded to the quadcopter one time. The first time you get it, it's suggested that you do it. Although they say it was trans, uh, bounded at the factory. The compass calibration, you can see I just did mine inside my house. And uh, my normal launch position is right outside in my front yard. It was okay to do the, camp, the compass calibration and the compass dance inside the house because uh, I was able to get the two flashing green lights which showed me I had satellite lock even in my bedroom. If you're attempting to to calibrate the compass inside your house or in your garage or even at their flight location. If you don't get the two flashing green lights, that pretty much means you don't have satellite lock. And I don't suggest calibrating the compass until I've gotten complete satellite lock. Uh, with me, I'm a little paranoid after my crash on flight number two. When I first plug in the battery, uh, I won't touch this quadcopter until it has the two flashing green lights. I'm not going to move it. I won't, I won't uh, adjust my camera angle. I won't plug it. I won't tuck away my battery cables until I get the two flashing green lights. I'm just scared to touch it while it's still initializing and while it's still acquiring GPS lock. Once you get the two flashing green lights, then you're pretty much safe to take it, flip it, throw it up, turn it upside down, uh, start your video, put your battery cables away, adjust your gimbal, what have you. I think it's critical not to touch the quadcopter until it's finished doing all of this automatic uh, things that it do, that it's supposed to do when you first plug in the battery. So if you follow those steps, you shouldn't have any problems with your quad. If, if you're still having problems after that, then you maybe you got a defective quad because there are some bad ones out there. Uh, we're starting to find out that maybe the first run off of the assembly line, uh, they didn't have the best QC procedures in place and uh, XK managed to let some of the bad ones get through they're out there and for all of my guys who are uh, subscribed to my channel uh, I, I, I hope you have a good one I, I hope you can really enjoy this quad uh, and I'm starting to enjoy it now and I still have my fingers crossed hoping that I got one of the good ones <laughs> Please, please, please. This is DJ Soul Force. I gotta go. It's Halloween. I'm gonna do some more flying.